Alrighty guys, so in order to get the first hunter rune, Chimera Shot, you just have to simply come here and you just kill scorpions in Duratar Valley Trials. Very simple, you don't have to find anything, you will just simply get it by killing scorpions. So pretty easy, just kill them and eventually you will get your rune. I will hopefully get it on the first kill here, but maybe it'll take a little longer. Yeah, we didn't get it there. But anyway, that's it, and I'll see you at the next rune. Voop! Alrighty, guys. So in order to get the explosive shop rune for hunters here, you can kill uh, Sarkoth, just a level 4 hostile scorpion. You have a quest to kill him up here. Nothing too crazy. You kill him, and you will get your explosive shot rune. So that is it for our first two runes. Hunter is turning out to be quite easy and quite fast, so that's awesome. But I'll see you at the next one. Voop. Alrighty, guys, for our next Hunter rune, we are just west of Razor Hill at about 40, 50 coordinates, and we have the Rustling Bush. Now, in order to do this, you must be at least level 6 and have learned Hunter's Mark, and then you are going to use Hunter's Mark on this, and then it reveals the Poacher, and then you kill the Poacher, and that is how you get the Master Marksman Hunter rune. So we just gotta fight him, he'll die, nothing too hard, he shoots us with his gun, but we're pretty well off, and a rune of marksmanship, which is a great ability for you to use while you are leveling, so that is our third rune, and I will see you at the next one, voop! Alrighty guys, in order to get our next rune carve, you gotta make sure that you have an adder pheromone, you use this, and for the next 10 minutes you can tame an adder, you can do this at level 10 once you have tame beast, and then it just instantly gives you an adder as your companion, and then you have to walk back to Razor Hill, and talk to this guy right in front of you, and it just says made a friend add a pheromone and then you just come over here and you talk to this snake charmer and he will give you the rune carve which is a pretty fun one so bam there's our rune easy peasy just like that alrighty guys I'll see you at the next rune Voop. alrighty guys so for our first step here we have to kill dire motil modulated boars and they drop duratar pig meat so after you kill enough of them you will get this pig meat right here duratar pig meat and we are then going to head to echo isles right here now it is very important to note um you can get flanking strike from killing this mob that you summon or taming him as a pet and right now the current meta he is one of the best cats that you can tame as a pet so i would highly recommend that you do this rune after you are level 10 and have done your hunter quest to learn how to tame a pet and then you just go ahead and tame him as your pet and you can essentially use him the entire game leveling up because he will be one of the best pets to have so just a little side note i'll show you guys when we get to the sinjin isle and i'll see you there Voop. Alrighty guys, so when you're on the island with the meat, you can walk here and click Hunter's Tracks and it summons a Spirit Tiger that you can then follow to the next tracks. And these tracks will lead you to the de desired um, outcome, which is summoning this white tiger that you will be able to then uh, tame. But that's sort of how you do the rune. It just walks in a straight line until you get to up here we'll see where he stops because i don't know the exact location actually but once it stops we'll put the meat down right there and then he will come out and then we are going to tame him and we will still get our flanking strike rune you just gotta place the bait there is the rare tiger, and we are going to have Aspect of the Monkey on and just start taming him because he is one of the best pets that we can get. So as long as he doesn't kill you before you tame him, then you're good, and you get a great pet, plus you will get your Flanking Strike rune. Highly would recommend doing this once you are level 10 because otherwise it is really bad. So as we see right there, my tame failed, so I got to make sure that... We, uh, we're going to use some really sticky glue here and try again. 
but yeah that's just something that can happen but this is a really good pet to tame and it is a uh you know very good to have that dude healed me which was very kind of him but hopefully we can tame this pet but just make sure you see that it can fail but there we go we got him as a pet and we got our rune of flanking so there we go and he eats meat so make sure you have meat to feed him but anyway that's how you get the rune and i will see you at the next one Voop. Alrighty guys, so in order to get our next rune beast mastery, you have to come here to just north of Camp T at coordinates about 45, 57, and you have to find this patrolling cheetah. Now you can only do this once you're level 16 and have immolation trap because it's the first trap you get. But you have to lay a trap down in its path and that will make the cheetah targetable and then you're able to kill it. I generally like to wait till it runs right about here because you don't have to deal with these uh, storm snouts. And then you have to also be weary that other hunters can help you with this. So if another hunter who has trap unlocked were to come here and place the trap, they could uh, help you get this rune. But the cheetah itself is not very hard to kill as you can see. It's level 18, just like a level 18 normal mob. You just can't hit it until you've trapped it. And then, bam, we get the Rune of Beast Mastery, which is one of the most powerful runes for hunters in the game right now. So the moment you're 16, I would highly recommend that you come here and get this rune. But anyway, I will see you at the next one. Voop! Alrighty guys, so in order to get Aspect of the Lion, you have to enter this cave here in the wetlands, and you're going to head back here to kill an owl. On my server, there's actually a summoning service. I pay this dude one gold, and he will kill the owl that we need to kill here. It spawns right here at the back of this cave with spiders, and we will get our Aspect of the Lion Rune. Pretty nice, pretty great service, but if you wanted to do it on your own time, and this is where the cave is in Wetlands, to come kill the mob and get your Aspect of the Lion. And Aspect of the Lion can be done at any level, which is really, really good. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, and I'll see you at the next rune. Voop! Alrighty, guys, so it is this owl here at the back. I just wanted to show you guys Karodin. He's 1,000 HP, he's level 25. You can do it at any level. This is great for Consuming Rage or the Heart of the Lion Rune. Nothing crazy, but quite good. And bam, you learn your Heart of the Lion Rune just like that. So that's how you get it. Um, if you're Horde on Crusader Strike, the guy's name is Super Task that does it. So you can definitely add him if you're interested as a warrior or a hunter for that rune. But anyway, that's it for this rune, and I'll see you at the next one. Voop! Alrighty, guys, so in order to get our next rune sniper training, we come here to Ratchet just by the docks. The coordinates you can see are 6238. But you come here to Killix and you buy a fishing harpoon, which is five silver. Um, and then we have to run out here and kill a level 20 elite shark. Now, I wouldn't do this if you are under leveled. I'm level 18 and I'm trying it because I have the world buff. I have some edgy potions. I have the aspect of the lion. I have a really good pet that has claw trained. So, I think I can kill this shark. It has 4k HP. Um, but we are going to see how we do. It's very, very scary for sure. But maybe we could spam a few harpoons at him. I'm not too sure. So, we're going to... Uh, you guys are going to watch me do it as much as I'm going to do it. I'm going to hunter's mark him. See how much damage we can do. And hopefully, the harpoon lets us do a ton to him. Otherwise, it's not going to be very, very fortuitous. So you can't do it while moving. All right, there's our harpoon toss. And now we're just going to blast him. The harpoon does do a ton of damage. As you can see, his health is going down rapidly. And he is dead. So make sure you get that harpoon to kill him. Otherwise, you are going to struggle. But it wasn't too hard to kill. And bam, we get rune of the sniper which is a very very nice rune and we are gonna go ahead and learn that pretty fun unique rune but anyway that's how you get it and i'll see you next rune Voop.
Alrighty guys, so for our big rune, Kill Command as Hunters, you start the quest here at Jixro Mad Rocket, and he gives you a quest called Wild Warven Wrangling, and that quest is going to require you to get two items, one of them is just clear Wailing Caverns, and the other one is going to be getting a wand, which will require a greater magic wand. But you get this wand from Furbogs and Ashenvale. So we are going to go do this. I'll definitely show them when we get there, but just verbally saying it. And I'll see you then. Whoop! Alrighty, guys. So once you are here in Wailing Caverns and you kill Mutanus the Devourer, he drops the hypnotic crystal which is the first piece that you are going to need in order to get our kill command rune as a hunter so just wanted to show you that you just have to kill all the bosses do welling caverns like normal loot it off of his body which you'll already be looting for the glowing shard the first time you do it anyway so make sure you do that but anyway that's it for this step and i'll see you at the next one Voop. Alrighty guys, for the next step in the Kill Command quest, we are right here in Ashenvale at about 5765. Um, we're just killing Furbogs because each of them have a chance to drop the Wild Magic Essence. Um, and you combine it with a Greater Magic Wand in order to make the Gnarled Wand of Wild Magic, which is a piece that you need. This killing these furbox actually pairs nicely with Warsong supplies as well. A little horde quest that drops some blue boots. So it's just something that's really cool to do. Um, pair it up that way, but just a step if you're a horde sort of getting these. We actually got a short ash bow, which is a pretty nice bow, but I got lucky and got Venom Strike. But anyway, that's it for this step, and I will see you at the next one. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So after you have gotten your wild magic essence and your hypnotic crystal we come back here to 60 62 about and we turn in the quest and then we have to go get a wyvern with him so you just kind of walk with him and he goes and tames a wyvern it's not hard i don't think you have to really do anything but just you know we turned it in we do this, and this is how you get, one, the ability to tame a wyvern, and two, the kill command rune. So you just have to follow him and watch him is all it says. So here is the unsuspecting pride wing. He's just going to come up here, and I think he tames it, and then he jumps on top of it. <laughs> but really cool is how you learn lightning breath as a hunter pet. But he's just going to be taming it. Sits there, gets it, and bam, quest done. And then we just turn it in and we will get the uh, rune. So that's it. And I will see you at the next one in Hillsbred. Alrighty, guys. So we are here in Hillsbred Foothills for the Cobra Strike rune. Now, there's a goblin uh, merchant that goes between Tarn Mill and South Shore. So you just have to run along the road until you find this goblin merchant. And you need to buy the turtle bait so hopefully he isn't anywhere too hard we're just gonna run down here he does sit in this watchtower often as well but you know i'm on a pvp server so this might be a little harder than it looks um but we just gotta sort of walk between here find the goblin and then we buy turtle bait and then we are going to go to this lake south of tower and mill use it on that small boat you can actually see the lake and that small boat right there and then it summons a turtle that we are going to have to kill. But the vendor does like to be in this tower, so we're going to check out this tower. And then if he's not on this half, he is probably headed towards South Shore. So Horde or Alliance, you just run through here, give it a look. If you see him, buy it. If you don't, keep going. But that is the path he takes. Um, we'll just have to go towards South Shore now and hope we can run into this goblin soon. But anyway, Horde or Alliance, this is what you do, and I will show you at the next step. Voop. Alrighty, guys, so here on the road to South Shore, we encountered the uh, Goblin. We trade here, and we have to get Freshwater Snapper Bait, which is a really good thing. Uh, this You can also buy this Elixir of uh, Consolidated... Uh, Reagent you can sell that for some decent money as well But we're going to then go take this freshwater snapper bait 
we are going to go to this lake and use it on the boat. So I'll see when we get there. Whoop. Alrighty guys, we are here in the middle of the lake at the boat and we are going to head and toss the bait and it will summon this level 25 elite turtle. It is 25 so make sure you have, you know, you are equipped to fight him. Uh, it's not too hard if you're running the beast mastery stuff, but we'll kill him and we will get our rune. He is a turtle so he has a ton of armor so it might take you a little bit, but... It shouldn't be too bad. As you can see here, me and my pet are just killing it. But this is one of the, you know, higher end runes to get just simply because this mob is level 25. And there aren't really many, like, summoning services or anything like that to carry you like Heart of the Lion has, which is very nice. Which I didn't even have up. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know. It is what it is, and bam, he is dead, so we can loot our rune, rune of Cobra Strikes. And now we have our final two runes to talk about, and that'll be it. So I'll see you when we get there. Voop. Alrighty, guys, so in order to get the Lone Wolf rune, it is, of course, your secret shop rune. If you've played any other classes, you know about this already, but it is here in ratchet and in order to unlock it you have to have five gold in your bags which we do yep. we talk to him we say what did you have in mind you walk back and then he has three quests that he wants you to do Got and the these three quests are going to be fish oil dark iron ordnance and shredder turbo chargers so you need 24 right, fish go. oil the best place to get fish oil is going to be over here in the wetlands and fighting blue oracle murlocs in this area only the oracles drop it or hills brad foothills just south of azure load mine there are some 27 to 32 murlocs that you could fight here same with level 30 plus nagas over here so that's the best ways to get fish oil as well as the raid drops it fish oil has gone down quite a bit so it's probably best to just buy it Next, we have the Dark Iron Ordnance. You need 20 of those, and they are going to be here at Dun Modar. This is the only place to get them. They drop. Raid groups are there all the time just farming these out. You can buy them off the auction house, but you can also farm it. It'll take you an hour or two just with a big raid group there blasting that out. Then finally, we have the Auto Shredder Salvage Parts. Now, these are something that engineers make from learning a recipe that you get from a dead mines drop. And then you can either pay them to make those or you can buy those uh, components. And those will I give you the me. Shredder Turbo Chargers, which you use on the corpses of Shredders. The best place to get Shredders are here at the Windshear Crag for Horde. Alliance can farm Ash and Vale ones, but they are friendly to Horde. Horde players, so Horde cannot, so they only have Ashevel here. The Ashevel ones are easier, and it is not a 100% drop rate. I'd recommend taking 20 to 30 of them with you to get your 16 parts. That's about what I did on my Druid when I did this. Mm, but that is the three um, things Good. to unlock the secret shop and how you do them. Um, after you unlock it, you can then do a little quest that you go somewhere in Orgrimmar. It's really simple, and you then... Um, can buy the rune here but that is how you get the lone wolf rune and i will see you at the final rune Voop. alrighty guys for the final rune it is going to be serpent spread and this is the duratar supply and logistics rune that you will get um, essentially at every major city there is a supply officer you turn in supply shipments which come from waylaid supply crates which you can only have one of and then when you fill them up you turn them in you get some silver and some reputation so i got 500 rep for that one and once you are friendly you unlock the shop this character i kind of blasted a ton so i'm not friendly as you can see i still need a thousand more rep to go in order to get the rune but that is sort of how you unlock it and get the rep i have a video that shows one of the best ways to do that um, if you're trying to grind out this rep and it will cost you two gold for your rune and there's one for every class in the game to do this so it's pretty easy but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this guide all the videos um, I've really enjoyed playing sod and going out there and getting all the runes so you guys support means a ton to me let me know if it helped you anything I can improve on if you think anything I left out um, just anything that comes to mind and yeah until next time guys I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later Bye-bye.
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.